robotic hutch diverticulectomy and ureteral reimplant. This is a six-year-old male who was referred to our practice presenting with multiple recurrent UTIs in the past year with a normal ultrasound and VCUG showing a large bladder diverticulum. He was otherwise healthy. The large bladder diverticulum can easily be seen on VCUG with no evidence of reflux bilaterally. This is a schematic of a robotic trocar placement. We began with cystoscopic examination of the diverticulum and its proximity to the left ureter. An indwelling ureteral stent was left prior to robotic dissection. Robotic dissection begins with identification of the ureter and mobilization. The cephalad extension of the diverticulum can easily be identified abutting the ureter, and the ureter is mobilized from the edge of the diverticulum. Traction sutures are placed to aid in dissection of the ureteral tunnel for reimplantation. The detrusor is incised leaving the mucosa in place in the standard fashion for an extravesical ureteral reimplant. To aid in visualization of the appropriate plane, the bladder is insufflated and pouching mucosa can be seen. The remaining diverticulum is then dissected free from the UVGA very carefully. Note the close proximity of the left vas deferens. The diverticulum is entered for easy identification of the diverticular os and medial dissection of the diverticulum from the lateral surface of the ureter. The remaining medial edge of the diverticulum is carefully dissected from the lateral edge of the ureter. The cystotomy is closed with 5-0 vicral sutures. Care is taken to ensure that the ureter is not included in the cystotomy closure. The ureteral tunnel is then reapproximated using 4-0 vicral sutures in the standard fashion. There were no interoperative complications with an EBL of 10 cc's. The patient was admitted overnight to a regular nursing floor and was discharged home on postoperative day one with a Foley catheter and ureteral stent in place. His Foley catheter was removed at five days post-op and his stent was removed at six weeks post-op. The patient is now without recurrent UTI with plan for follow-up VCUG in three months.